Hi, I'm Drew Gurkowski. I'm the Digital Community Manager with the FreeBSD Foundation, and I'm joined today by Emmerich. Uh, if you would like to introduce yourself. Uh, yeah, my name's Emmerich. Uh, I'm a student, I'm also not a student. Um, and uh, yeah, I use work on FreeBSD. Awesome. So, what initially drove you to use FreeBSD? So, uh, I, I was kind of looking for a system that I could uh, tinker with, and um, I mean, I was using Linux, and I tried looking into Linux, but uh, it's quite complicated. It's quite complicated system. There's a lot of moving parts. Yeah. Uh, FreeBSD, the fact that everything's in one code base, um, and that yeah, the source code's quite a bit better curated in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, I, I thought it was uh, easier to, to start using that and to kind of tinker on that. Gotcha. Yeah. And um, as you started to work with it, was there any features that kind of stood out to you in FreeBSD that really kept you involved with FreeBSD? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess it's mainly the, the, the fact that I understand the system. Like, if something goes wrong, then on FreeBSD, I generally find the problem quite quickly. Uh, whereas, yeah, if I'm on Linux, sometimes it's a bit more involved uh, the process to, to, to find things. And I guess my final question is, uh, is there anything that you're excited to see brought to FreeBSD? Uh, anything that you're just excited to see? In yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, I think it'd be great if uh, FreeBSD focused more on like uh, uh, hardware support to get that into the hands of people. Because, uh, yeah, currently, uh, it's, uh, it's currently quite <laughs> difficult to, to run FreeBSD on certain systems as a desktop operating system. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much. I uh, appreciate your time. Yeah. Sure. Thanks.